there is a high level of uh, prostitution and sexual morality among east fishermen here. It's so common that you find young children also participating in alcohol. I see a lot of divorces and uh, I see broken families. And there is need to establish adult literacy so that people can learn how to read and write. People need to be taught a lot about home, community and personal hygiene. People still consulting witch doctors for lack of having much fish or fishing a lot. The source of income in this village is fishing. So if there is no fishing, then there is poverty in the village. With uh, this fishing line, you don't have to put a, a bait on the, on the fishing hooks. So you just throw the, the hooks like that, deep down. Then as the, the fish see the, the hooks hanging, then they'll, come, they'll be attracted and then they'll come and, uh, and uh, try to snatch one, one piece. Sometimes we put 150 hooks on one line then it goes very deep, catching bigger, bigger, sometimes big fish, sometimes it's just small fish. When you go back home, you have something to eat. <laughs> Life in Tongwa is different, because when you talk about electricity, there is no electricity. Life is difficult because Tongwa is far away from the urban area, and people live differently in this place. As missionaries, we are planting indigenous churches, self-supporting churches, and we, didn't we, didn't we did not need to give it a name. So the strategy was to start something to address the spiritual part and we started programs like meeting and explaining the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. We had programs of adult literacy, we had community health programs to teach the people about healthy in the village and also personal hygiene. Then we also had social activities to make friendship with the people in the village. One of the things that have changed is in terms of education. This time, because of our involvement in the village, we have now a, a government community school. And we have seen that most of the children who are not able to read and write and also greet maybe in, the, in English language, today they are able to read and write and even read for their families. We have a small group of people that have matured to a level where they have begun to take responsibility of the gospel and also sharing with other people the things that they have heard. So the church is growing and so far we have planted two cell groups in other two villages close to Tongwa and we see that to be a path to the local people going to the local people to share the gospel with them. It's lovely to see what the Word of God has done in this place. There are changes that have taken place and part of the changes that have taken place in this area is that this area from this side and this area has been connected together because sometimes back there used to be an enmity between the two and the river acted like barrier and people could not cross but this time they are free to close the river and enjoy fellowship with other people and we see how the Lord is doing something great in people's lives in Tongwa. It's important to bring hope and help to the people, but I realize that it's not the hope about people getting rich and having a lots of wives and lots of children and lots of houses. It's about where we focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the help, of course, it goes with it meeting the felt needs. This is so powerful because this is what the Lord Jesus himself did. And he fed the people because he loved them. And this is one way of demonstrating love is to touch even the physical needs of people in the village.